Welcome back to the Session Talk Show. For your source of music, fashion, sports, and community. Welcome back to the Session Talk Show. I'm your host, Atia. I'm Rose. And I'm Takiya. Guess who we have into the session today? Who do we have? We have I Am Justified. He is here in the flesh. Okay, and we have, and he's an author. So tell us, tell us your backstory. Uh, first of all, I'm just saying, man, thank y'all so much for having me. I love the setup, loving the vibes in here. Uh, yeah, also, you know, music artist, author, father, um, just somebody looking to just uh, engage the culture and just inspire people through music to never stop dreaming. Okay. Never give up, just keep going with your dreams. And so in my book, it talks about uh, living on purpose, you know, and like having a life full of purpose. So y'all make sure to go, go cop that, okay. <laughs> by the way. So when did you start doing music? Uh, I started doing music, man, going on nine years, actually. Oh. Yeah, going on nine years. Uh, really like kicked in gear. Of course, after those two, three years, that's mm -hmm. when everything started shifting. I started getting a lot of performances at different schools, assemblies, you know, uh, festivals, concerts, and things of that nature. So that's when it started to kind of blossom. blossom. And, and, and it's always a lot of growth. Still a lot of growth to go, uh, but I'm excited for the journey, so I'm enjoying it. So, so your high school teacher was a high school teacher. Yeah taught high school. So shout out to Kip. I taught high school at Kip for, man, seven years. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Started off teaching elementary, the little, the little oh, kids. Fun, I, I had the, I had the best time. Nothing against the high school students, but <laughs> you know, but I had a really good time with uh, a lot of the uh, elementary kids as well. And uh, I just, I really enjoyed teaching. I had a really good sit time uh, in season teaching, uh, just inspiring, inspiring youth and connecting, find out all the new dance moves that's out, mm -hmm. find out what's going on, keeping you young, mm -hmm. keeping you in the vibe. And so uh, I had a great experience with that. How did you use music uh, to influence or to battle depression? So when I went through, man, you've been doing your research over there, huh? <laughs> you know, wow. A little bit, a little she, bit. She, she read the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, with depression, uh, it, it was a really dark season. If I can explain what it was like, it was dark. If I can explain what it smelled like, it stinked. It was wow. probably the darkest, stinkiest season I went through in my life. Yeah. Um, but I was grateful for it because it made me who I am today. And I think that music became, began to be my therapy. Mm -hmm. That was how I would escape, you know, writing my different stories, writing my different things I was going through to break free from that cage that depression put me in. And so uh, that really was always been my, my story to push me forward, which is why I go by I Am Justified, which means, you know, when somebody says, hey, yo, I am justified, you're affirming yourself, I am. Justified. It's, a, it's, it's signif yeah. signif significant to, affirmation i am you know i am from like, myself good, I like I, you I are yes yeah, so we, yeah i am validated i'm approved so when you say hey yo i am justified you're affirming yourself you're former you, you you shout me out but you're also affirming yourself so it's a two-way just like so music is that how you came up with the name i would say god gave me that i didn't i i, I wasn't creative enough natural. to come with that yeah yeah because i was I, I used to go by uh justin time i was trying to come up yeah. with all kind of creative names to put with justin uh, -huh. uh but god just downloaded that one i can't even take credit for that so yeah oh, wow what's something that you've done different as as a man yeah that who battled with depression that keeps you from going back to that place. Well, you know, you know, I think I think we all have, you know, seasons that we go through in our life where our mind can take us different mm -hmm. places. So really, man, it's a day to day when I wake up, mm -hmm. you know, making sure to align my thoughts in the morning. You know, I'm validated. I'm good enough. You know, today's going to be a great day. I rejoice in this day. Just it's like it's like working out. It's like a gym workout. You can't go to the gym one time and think, OK, you know, mm -hmm. I'm you good can. enough. You got to be working on your body. You got to work on your mind. Yes. Pretty much even more, you know what I'm saying? That's our most valuable thing we got. So, so, so. it's like an attitude. You, you wake up and say, hey, yeah. I'm good enough. Facts. I'm, I'm going to succeed. Yeah. And it's a belief and a value. Facts. Right? And then, then there are many kiddos, uh -huh. teenagers, mm -hmm. they are still struggling because of COVID. The yeah. Of COVID. Yeah. And um, 
What inspiring message would you give? You know, it, it's so you know, it, it's such a it was such a devastating time, man. Just rest in peace to all the people we lost during that time of of COVID. You know, I lost best friends. You know, rest in rest in peace, Levon, Daryl Allen. I mean, Dex. I, I countless number of others that I can just think off the top from COVID, from depression, from just being separated as a as a community, as yeah. as people. Um, and, and again, I'm, I don't ever want to give the impression that I'm a person that got it together when it comes with depression because it's so still it's a, daily. It's, it's a daily thing. So I, I just want to be a vessel and a vehicle to let you know that you're not alone and there's always a way and that we all have thoughts just like eating habits. You know what I mean? It's just all about continuing to be alert for it. But I would say to the youth out there, um, finding that purpose, you know, finding that dream, something that excites you, something that gets you just, just going, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and sparking that. Like my little boy, he, he plays basketball. So we had him in swimming, we had him in soccer, but basketball is the thing that really has him excited. Oh, yeah. So Good. just for seeing that, man, you know, I'm, hey, you want, you, you want the Jays, you want, you want the new basketball, what, what team you want to play for, anywhere I can support him mm -hmm. and that venture is what I want to do. And I feel like as friends, as family, we just do the same thing. And I think that's what sparks that interest to have a reason to exist and to live and to keep going. So, yeah. Wow. Speaking of community, I see you do a lot of community efforts. I'm trying to get back to it. A little bit about that. Yeah, for that sure. Experience. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get back to it. I was just talking to my manager about it, actually. Like, um, I, I, it feels good to just give back and serve, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and get in the community. So, um, what it does for me is it's, it's like, it's a way to really see people in a vulnerable place, but it also puts you in a vulnerable place. Mm, yes. Cause it's not about your title. It's not about who I am and what I can, it's really just about connecting with people where, that, where there's a need. So it, it just feels good to do it, so. We have to get back into that, um, but we do need a break. Uh, thank you for tuning in to keep the Session Talk Show. Keep again. on winning, keep on winning. Mirror, 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 sit on the wall. What up, Rush? Boy, I am justified, and you are watching the session talk show on Cam Vision 365. Welcome back to the session talk show. I'm here with I Am Justified. Mr. Justified, please let us know what you have up and coming. So, uh, on Friday, um, we got something. It's an NFT. Shout out to uh, Team Do with Mad Rabbit. They're doing a dope event. Right there on Washington. Okay. At uh, it's the new Hugh Hangers, mm -hmm. and so it's gonna be artists. Uh, What's some of the artists that we should uh, be off the top? Off the top, I, I want to say uh, I know for sure Kirk Bang. Shout out to Kirk Kirk Bang is gonna be there. A lot of dope artists out of London. I want to say Kirk and I are probably the only two Houston artists. Oh. They were mentioning Bun B. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, don't quote me if I'm wrong. Uh, but also a lot of artists just um out of London and, and in Toronto. So. Um, that's gonna be going be, be there as well. So super gonna be a dope event. Okay, we yeah. have to be there. We definitely know. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Friday, Friday, Mad Rabbit, and um, what they're doing with this movement is so cool. It's uh, it's teaming up with the NFTs. Mm -hmm. So bringing NFTs and creating music for this uh, and making it into the virtual world. Mm -hmm. And so I got a single on the project. Um, Kirko and many other artists have, you know, songs on the project and uh, we're going to get to tap into the NFT world. So I'm excited. It's my first official time getting a part of the NFT world. So salute to Mad Rabbit. Y'all see me repping the hat right here. Okay. They have dope graphics. The vision for this is so out of the ordinary and out of the box. So I think it's going to be great for the city and uh, just great for other artists, too. That's going to be coming for the future. Absolutely. I think Houston needs this. Yeah. Oh, no, this we, is we new for Houston. Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. You know. We can't get away from the virtual world. It is, it's rapidly growing. Mm -hmm. Everyone is, is just into that virtual world, um, whether it's games, music, uh, real estate. Music. It's just there. So you have to jump aboard. Yeah. So this is just like the starting of something that's going to be so huge and congratulations to you I'm i appreciate it showing up. yeah i'm excited so y'all come through y'all check it out gonna be some live performances and uh a lot more to come so man salute to carlos digi you know sam the whole team mad rabbit all the artists that's a part of it uh y'all stay tuned for the project it's gonna be dropping as well um and uh y'all can follow them on uh mad rabbits riot club on instagram okay. 
And of course, you can follow me at I Am Justified One on Instagram. But it's going to be a major event, um, something new for the city, but also for the culture that's going to thrive, uh, I believe, hip hop into a whole new virtual world. Wow. I've seen, uh, did y'all watch the MTV Awards? I've seen the VMA? Yeah. Well, I don't know if y'all seen what um, uh, Eminem and and Snoop, Snoop was on there and they had like the cartoon uh-huh. kind of vibe. Yeah. That's gonna be kind of the, the the image or the vibe of where we're going with this oh, project. Okay. Just to give you a visual. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'm a visual learner. So oh, yeah. just to give yeah, you a visual yeah, yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that would be really exciting. Yeah, it's gonna be this dope. Like it's gonna be dope. Cartoon, exactly. Right? Oh, and this wow. is like singing and going into that. That world. That world. That world yeah, creating a fire. character to it. Yes, yeah. telling a story. Well, you know, one yeah. thing about being an artist is every day you gain some type of fan base or yeah. someone, you're introduced to someone. Tell us about your music. Mm-hmm. Like, what kind of music do you have? What is your artistry? Who are you speaking to? Yeah. Um, I would say, man, I believe my, my, my team would always tell me my music is just universal. It reaches everybody. I got songs that I'm rapping in Spanish. I lived in Spain, so you know I speak Spanish. Uh, I have songs where you know I'm rapping about my faith, so I can reach you know people who have a faith background. I got songs where I'm rapping for you know, you know for relationships. You know, being a single man. You know that I have. Man, I have so many different types of, of songs that can relate to anybody from every background. You know, I got rap, I can sing it, you know. I'm taking vocal lessons right now, so <laughs> y'all about to really hear some stuff coming soon. So yeah. So we might, hear, we might hear a country song. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Soon, soon, soon. That's gonna be next, cause I grew up with horses, so. Like, yeah, right. same, I need to do that, yes. I need to do that, yeah. It's like, you have to. Like, how can you Why not? Yeah. What inspires you? What inspires me? Mm-hmm. Uh, music, to uh, make a career change. What inspires you to do that? I would say probably um, just just being able to wake up every day and do something that I love, mm-hmm. you know? Like being able to just do something that you love and and being able to have the freedom to do it, I think that's probably one of the best gifts in the world, like mm-hmm. to wake up every day and do what you love to do. That probably be the reason for me, yeah. yeah. So I have to ask you a question. So years but go by and we go back to this interview Mm -hmm. um and this question is brought up who is the dream artist that you would want to work with and collaborate with um man since you manifest you know it's gonna happen the dream artist let me look at the team over there the dream (laughs) artist man uh you know what i gotta say man i would chris breezy chris brown yeah yeah i'm a big fan of chris brown just his artistry, his talent, his 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 universal way of doing music. I would probably say, you know, I'm a fan of his craft. Yeah, yeah. Chris Breezy. Yeah, so for sure. Chris Breezy, he, he comes. Yeah, 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 straight up, straight up, so straight I can't up. Wait to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> to the session talk show again. I'm here with. I am justified. So tell us, where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me at I am justified number one. Super excited to team up with Mad Rabbit. Definitely follow them at Mad Rabbit's Riot Club, um, and look forward to seeing y'all Friday on Washington at uh, Hugh Hangers. So let's get it. I'm looking forward to. It. I am. I am so looking forward to. It. Now don't act like you don't know us. Okay? Of course, no. <laughs> of course not. No, no. <laughs> She's <Exactly>. funny. <laughs> Wow, well, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. hey, no, never that. No, 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 okay. never that. That's not even my vibe. Okay. Nah, and it was so funny the way she said, hey, don't act like do you all know it. Like she put that out there. Like, it's just me. <laughs> nah, know? facts, nah. And I'm looking forward to hearing about your, the, the event too, you know, okay. giving back to the community. So Thank let's do you. it. Oh my gosh, that would be so great. Yeah. The kids are gonna love that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in to the Session Talk Show host. I am Tia. I'm Rose. And I'm Tukia. And till next time, take care. Welcome back to the Session Talk Show. Don't forget to follow us on all platforms at the Session Talk Show Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube.